Almost fuck a tonic. Edgecum. Almost fuck a tonic. All right, here we go. When we come back, make a whole bunch of noise. Younger musicians from around the world have been competing in Queenstown for a recording contract, a tour, tens of thousands of dollars, and jewellery. How is all this possible? Well, the clue is in that last item. Jewellery. <laughs> Hello, Michael Hill jeweller. There he is. In the early days, he twinkled into our living rooms, personally vouching for the quality glitz and glamour on sale that month. Sir Michael Hill is encrusted into our cultural DNA. But his passion for the finer things in life goes beyond bling. He's also a massive, lifelong fan of the violin. This year marks the 10th Michael Hill International Violin Competition, one of the most sought-after concert prizes in the world. Finals are tomorrow night. Well, joining us are Sir Michael Hill Jeweller and over in the music corner, quarterfinal winner Matthias Wells from Germany with Queenstown's Mark Wilson on accordion. Please give him a round of applause. Woo Tell me how you ended up as a jeweller instead of a concert violinist. Well, um, I wanted to become a concert violinist, and um, we actually had a, a New Zealand Herald had a, a competition in back in the fifties, and I entered that, and I, I only came fourth. And my parents, uh, my father was very musical, but my parents and my uncle said, "This is intolerable. You've been eighteen months just fiddling around, wasting time. Uh, you have to get a real job." Uh, we're going to make a watchmaker out of you, and that's how I started my career. I hated watchmaking. Mm. Lasted three months, and they put me in the front with my dad. Seems <laughs> unfair because fourth is New Zealand gold. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you agree the violin is an amazing and beautiful instrument when played well? But maybe parents just can't get through that early learning phase. Well, the, the violin is is different than you know a piano. Of course, when you press the note on the piano, I mean it comes more or less right. But when you squeak on the violin it sounds a quite a hideous instrument until you, <laughs> you, you, you master the technique it's a very sensitive instrument uh, extremely makes, sensitive makes it even more impressive the mastery of it the michael hill um international violin competition has become a huge deal what is it about the violin that you really love well i uh, it was a way for me to give back because i i, I always wanted to daily do that and uh the jewelry business turned out to be Pretty successful, and give me the, <laughs> <laughs> it gave, really the, the, of you. <laughs> and it gave me the opportunity to, to to literally to give back. So we started this competition 18 years ago, and uh, yes, and with the Auckland Philharmonia, and uh, where the the finalists play with the full orchestra, and uh, which is this Saturday night, which is very exciting. Mm. So yeah, it's it's something that's developed from well, from a humble beginning to actually now recognised one of the top four violin competitions in the world. So. And, and you're not alone here tonight, Sir Michael. We've already met Mark and Matthias, who you're with. Could you tell us uh, what makes these two so special? Well, they're different. The thing is, what the competition, our competition, looks for is because it's mainly serious music, but you need a point of difference, and uh, these two have got a serious point of difference. Uh -huh. and, and Matthias came up with this, this uh, innovative idea of having our local piano accordionist from Queenstown play with them, and I think it's just a, it, it's really groovy. It's something really different, <laughs> and we encourage um, difference in our competition. Thank you for all you've done to this instrument and for New Zealand culture. And the grand final of the Michael Hill International Violin Competition is tomorrow night at the Auckland Town Hall. It's open to the public. You can go and watch it for now. Please, thanks, Sir Michael. <laughs> Playing those with the days, let's hand it over to Matthias and Mark. <laughs>